What's up guys? Welcome back to Med Expert Monday. My name is McKay Japool and I just finished up my second year at, at ISU College of Pharmacy, which is very exciting. I'm on the Pocatello campus. Um, so just a little about me. I, you can probably guess that I'm you know, interested in drugs and learning about drugs since I decided to go to pharmacy school and to, to study it further. In particular, um, for me, I love learning about the pathways in the body. I find them extremely fascinating. I love being able to piece together how drugs work within the body. And personally, I kind of like to think of it like a puzzle. Um, so if you can kind of see how the drugs work within the body and then kind of start to piece it together in your mind, you can kind of start to predict, well, we might use this drug for this or maybe in this circumstance or situation. And then you go a little further and you can see, well, this might cause this side effect based on how it works in the body. And so as pharmacists, that's something that we we do quite a bit, especially in, in a retail setting when it comes to counseling on medications and that sort of thing. And that currently is where I work in a, in a retail setting. So I see this a lot. And so I was trying to kind of think of some examples of particular drugs that might be um, easier to illustrate this point. I, I like all drugs, um, but I decided to go with uh, the blood pressure pathway and particularly with lisinopril because I, I just think that that provides an excellent example for kind of what I'm talking about. So just some real brief background on the blood pressure pathway. So it kind of starts in the liver uh, where we have the production of what's called angiotensinogen and it's converted by renin, which is released from the kidney, and converted into angiotensin 1. And then angiotensin 1 is converted by angiotensin converting enzyme, otherwise known as ACE, into angiotensin 2. Now, angiotensin 2 in and of itself is a vasoconstrictor, so in doing that, it constricts blood vessels, so you get that rise in blood pressure. But it also triggers the release of something called um, aldosterone, which it causes some sodium retention and ultimately some water retention, which also can lead to increased blood pressure. So that's just kind of the basics of the pathway, but you can kind of start to see like where we, if we target one thing or if we target another, we might be able to hinder this. And so lisinopril is a great example because it's what we call an ACE inhibitor. So it inhibits that angiotensin converting enzyme from turning uh, angiotensin 1 into angiotensin 2 and ultimately rising blood pressure. So that in and of itself is, is how the medication works. But then if you kind of think of it in this sense, there's some other things that the ACE inhibitor or the, sorry, the ACE enzyme is involved in. And that includes the breakdown of what's called bradykinin in the lungs. And so when you inhibit that enzyme, it's not going to be breaking down the bradykinin in the lungs, which is going to cause a dry cough. Right? So that would be a side effect of lisinopril. So when you start to kind of piece these things together, I, I just find that so fascinating, so interesting. And then you can also look at, okay, well, if, if that does that, what if we targeted, for example, angiotensin 2 itself? If we just target, or angiotensin 2 itself, we just target that instead, well, then you would have a medication called Lasartan, right? And so, uh, or you could, if you wanted to target aldosterone outright, you have a medication called spironolactone. So it's it's so fascinating to me that we can find all of these pathways in the body and then apply a drug to that target so that we can ultimately change our, our ultimate goal. And then in this case would be lowering the blood pressure. So I just think that, that not only is that so interesting, it opens up a world of possibilities in the future as we continue to discover things within the body. We're constantly finding out new pathways and and new things that we we thought previously existed in, in the body and maybe had a big impact that no longer do. So uh, when you kind of start to piece these things together, you can come up with new drugs. You can come up with new drug targets and you can change the market and you can entirely change how uh, someone might respond to a medication and you can help them in ways that, you know, previously was unheard of. Um, there's new medications coming out all the time that can provide better relief of a disease state or, or illness to a patient. And, and that is something that uh, has always attracted me to pharmacy and will always attract me to pharmacy is that continual development and improvement in helping our patients feel better and, and ultimately be healthier and 
And that's what I'm all about. So thanks for spending some time with me today, guys. And uh, I'll talk to you later.